next one up. The Exer, now that's from 1960 to 1992. I believe that's correct. The Exer will go out there and they'll take the hammer and they'll try to decide how the best way to hit the nail is so that it have optimal uh, way of uh, going into that tube before. Uh, they'll want to know the weight of the hammer, they'll want to plan it out, they'll, they'll do all kinds of calculations to make sure that when they hit that nail that they will that they'll accomplish their goal of driving that nail in that tube before. The wires, which is 1992 to 2002, will come out there and they will see the nail in the board and they will take the hammer and they're going to do this. They're going to ask, why am I driving that nail? <laughs> <laughs> and if you, can't, you, if you can't convince them why you're driving the nail, they won't drive the nail. And if they do drive the nail, they'll want to know is that the best place to put the nail? <laughs> now, the other two generations, we're not sure what they'll do because they don't even know what a hammer and nail is. <laughs> but all of us have different dreams. All of us have different things, and it's based on, on uh, our, our surroundings, it's based on our teaching, it's based on our value system, and it's based on the culture that we live in. In Genesis chapter 37, we meet a young man by the name of Joseph. <coughs> Joseph was a dreamer. And the Bible tells us that Joseph had some brothers. And Joseph told his brothers in verse 5 of Genesis chapter 37, that he had had a dream. And it says, Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him even more. <coughs> How many know what the dream was? You know what the dream was? Hold up your hand. All right. The dream was this. Joseph dreamed, Joseph dreamed that he was going to be over his brothers. Joseph was going to rule over them. And he told his brothers that. And how would that, how do you think they reacted? They reacted very bad. Uh, the Bible tells us, the verse that we've just read says that because of Joseph's dream, and because he shared it with his brothers, they hated him even more. Now they hated Joseph anyway. Do you remember why? Joseph was the youngest. And Joseph was the favorite. Mama liked Joseph better than me. But this drove the, the nail in the coffin. And when it when it was real, when Joseph told the people, told his brothers what what his dream was, they just went berserk. Who is this little kid having these dreams that's going to be my boss? Who does he think he is? What was their response to Joseph? They got rid of him, didn't they? So, in getting rid of Joseph, you would think that his dream would just vanish. Now, how did they get rid of him? They sold him. I don't, re I don't remember. Some of you might remember how much they sold him for, but uh, they, they sold him into slavery. It's really what happened to him. But Joseph had to had a dream. And Joseph <coughs> held on to that dream. We're going to see that in just a moment. Held on to that dream throughout his life. Do you have a dream today? If you don't, you need one. 
Because dreams give us hope. They display a powerful image of what life can be. Someone has said that when we stop dreaming, we die. Maybe not physically, but emotionally, spiritually, we cease to exist. We may breathe, our heart may pump, but if our dreams are gone, we just die. A lot of people's dreams are being shattered in our world today. <laughs> or maybe that dream that they have, have has turned into a nightmare. And that nightmare has come true. But for all of us that dream, there's hope. Joseph dreamed of using his considerable talents to do great things for the family of God and for his family. And if your dreams are going to glorify God, you're going to have to realize some things. Have you ever dreamed? I mean, I know you've dreamed. <laughs> but what has, what is some of your dreams? How have some of your dreams ended up? I've dreamed of being Billy Graham never have made it. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing that we need to understand as we dream our dreams and as we think about those dreams and press forward is that does my dream glorify God? Some of you young people, I don't know who you like, maybe the boys like, what's your name, Billy Ray Cyrus' daughter, Miley Cyrus, some of those others, like Travis doesn't like my other side. Some of some of you girls, young girls, might like Justin Bieber or Bieber or whatever. Bieber, uh, okay. And that might that might be your dream. But just think of, of this: if those if some of those things are your dream, they might turn into your worst nightmare. Our dreams, when we when we dream our dreams, and when we when we think about the things that we would, we would like to accomplish, we need to understand that we're meant first and to glorify God. And if our dreams are going to be successes, we have to be like Joseph and understand that dreaming means recognizing the presence of God in our lives. If anyone has ever had a dream crushed, it was Joseph. Joseph awoke, told his dream to his brothers, and wound up what? So, his wife was gone. Now, to a lot of people, they would think that is where a dream is shattered. That's where the nightmare becomes reality. And they would have given up. But we notice that whatever happened to Joseph in all of his, his time between the time he was sold until the time he came back to his family, Joseph never, it never gave up his dream and it never caused him to give up on God. Joseph is a good example of why people need to understand that we don't need to be giving up on God. And in fact, everything that happened to him only made him draw, draw closer to God. I'm afraid, and I, I don't know whether y'all like gloom and doom or not, but I, I kind of I see our world in a gloom and doom situation right now. 
You know, there's there's riots over overseas and in the in some of the countries now. I think if I counted right this morning, about six countries are, are having the same thing that's ha happened in Egypt going on now. And what's bad about it is we're having it happen in the U.S. Is it Minnesota that's that's having it? Wisconsin. But it's going to happen in other places. It's going to happen in Washington. Because uh, uh, the economy is so bad, not only in the U.S., but worldwide, that people are, are beginning to ask, is this the best we can do? Dreams are being shattered. And if we let our dreams become shattered because of the economy or because of something else that faces our life, then what, it, what is, is going to happen is that instead of drawing closer to God, we're going to go further away from Him. And folks, in our situation today, whether we've experienced loss or whether we've experienced uh, crashed or failed dreams, we need to grow, grow closer to God. Do you notice the presence of God in your life? Do you believe that He has a plan for you? I firmly believe that God has a plan for every single person in this room this morning. I believe that He has, has something in store for you that is, that is very special and very unique to you. And you're the only one, you're the only one that's going to be able to serve in that position. If you don't have a if you don't have God's presence in your life this morning, you need to dream a dream that God will be yours through Jesus. Dreaming also means making the best of a bad situation. I would ask you how many people have ever been in a bad situation, but every one of you would raise your hands, wouldn't you? Think about Joseph for a moment. We can't 